take for this heavyweight fight. Here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, so here is Alistair Overeem. We'll see if we see those improvements in the footwork and the speed here early on in round one. Good work there on the feet by Max Holloway. We'll see if he can close the show now. Max Holloway's looking to finish. Max Holloway's on his game. Max is looking good. Max is ready to become the king of the featherweights once again. Nice sequence there for Holloway. He throws, he lands. Really good level change. Oh, right into Mark. Setting up for an arm lock now. Oh, that's tight. Oh, what a transition to the belly down arm block. Oh, he's got out. And then notice how he got his body all the way across to the opposite side. Now, he's in the on belly. But it's much better than where he was before. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fun. Attempting an arm ball here. Ooh, looks like it might be locked in. Once he gets going, he's got so many ways to finish arm ball. Wow, somehow, some way, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to. Right into side control, upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine. Like when the opponent turns to the opposite side, he can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke or flatten him out and just go for the finish. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Over inch and half guard. Less than a minute now to go in round one. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. All right, so some high-level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response from the crowd, no surprise. I love, I love all the grappling that was on display there, but fight fans want to see striking, and that's exactly what they're going to get as he finally makes his way back to his feet. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike. In the... So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. All right, round two. That's a solid punch. That one definitely got through. Takedown defense is there. Oh, beautiful combination there for Max Holloway. The West Express firmly on the track tonight. These Once he's rolling, Max Holloway is going to Right now, he's got everything for Trying to kick the leg out. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Over in gets caught with that punch. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Three minutes to go. in this featherweight division. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. 
Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Oh, right knee to the head. Holloway's bleeding from the mouth, Daniel. Looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Big strike land. Now he looks to try to chase down that figure. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has... What a nasty flying knee to the head. Oh, up the back. Oh. Yeah. 53 total strikes have landed for Max Holloway. And connecting with about a 41% accuracy rate here against Dallas Drove. Thirty seconds to go on the round. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's gonna do to stay in this fight. Oh, round. Do you believe it? Another five minutes coming up. All right, heading back to the corner now, and Holloway's corner now. We'll take a look at that lip. The cut man is in, and. You gotta tighten that up. It's really starting to bleed now. We'll see if uh, it rears its ugly head. Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over this 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows. And he won. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Able to block the punch there. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, a shot to the body. His opponent crippled, but not out yet. He's trying to keep the poker face, but he's hurt very, very bad. Oh, big left. comes forward with a flying knee that... Oh, oh, huge shots being landed on both sides. Yeah, he hurt real bad. He still hurt. Oh, big right here. He's hurt bad here. Holloway whiffs on the left there. Very badly. And another big hit for Max Holloway. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. Two minutes now to go in the fight. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You would... I'm not sure his opponent knows No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing sweet birds over the top of his head. If you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly leg. Overeem's now switching his stance. Oh, is he opened up now? Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. Very active with the left hand. Beautiful punch. Well, good news, bad news, right? The strike there lands, but just not much steam on it because his gas tank seems to be on the verge of empty. The gas tank is completely empty. All that butt mashing did you know? Oh. Oh, 
Ah, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. And he caught the kick. Actually, right, so the fight goes the distance. Outstanding action on both sides all night. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores the contest, 29-28, Overeem. Judge two scores it, 29-29. And judge three scores it, 29-29. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a majority draw. All right, well, as you articulated throughout the broadcast, both men should be happy with their performances here tonight. Perhaps not that thrill with the result. It's a drill. Well, you want to win. As a fighter, you want to win, especially when you had moments. There were many moments in this fight where these guys were just so even, though, that the draw being the decision doesn't really leave me disappointed.